Hello everyone, in today's lesson, we are going to learn about tourism product. But first, we need to understand the definition of tourism product. According to UNWTO, tourism product is the combination of tangible and intangible elements such as natural, cultural, man-made resources and others. It represents the core of the destination marketing needs and creates an overall visitor experience including emotional aspect for the potential customers. Tourism product can be characterized by three elements which are intangible, highly perishable and unstable demand. Tourism products are usually intangible because they cannot be touched or does not have any physical presence. For example, experiences in an airplane, cruise liner in a sea and visiting a museum are only experiences one day taken place. They can only be reoccurred or realized. Secondly, tourism product is highly perishable. Perishable means the product or services are consumed as they are produced. For example, Hotel rooms and cable car seats cannot be warehoused for future sales. The third characteristic of tourism product is unstable demand. It means that the tourism product is affected by seasonal, economy and political factors. For example, in Malaysia, the monsoon season which usually occurs between November and March will affect travel to beaches and islands. Another example of how politics may affect tourism can be seen in the fall of international travel to US in 2017 due to the Trump's law. Moving on, let's look on the different types of tourism product. Particularly, there are two types of tourism product, convenient and shopping goods. Convenient products are bought to satisfy the immediate desire. These products are usually inexpensive items that require little shopping effort. Urban bus transport and commuter train transport are examples of convenient products. While shopping products are generally more expensive and the tourists buy this product only after comparing it. It also involves shopping time and efforts. In Malaysia, dinner in the sky is quite famous today. Located in Kuala Lumpur City, you can enjoy a fancy dinner up in the sky with an amazing view. There are many other good examples of shopping products. The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, recently launched the London Auto Season to bolster the capital status as a world-class tourist destination. Tourists in London can now indulge themselves to travel in style with London's finest chauffeur company, EG Chauffeurs. In conclusion, tourism product must accrue a mutual satisfaction for both supplier as well as the receiver of the product. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.